Hey, shalom brothers, shalom sisters, Bishop Nathaniel here. That's right, you know what day it is. It's Shout Out Tuesday. It is Shout Out Tuesday. And I pray you brothers and sisters join me every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC Events channel, where I will be reading your kind and inspirational letters, also thanking you for your kind donations, and also covering very important biblical information for the mental well-being of our 12 tribes. That's right, 12 tribes worldwide. So hope to see you then, every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC Events. Shalom. Phenomena Kick it against the bricks Lose your soul when that fire come We purify better than gold Got my Bible on And that's all that I know Where Babylon Don't fall, watch it blow Ay. Switching it up, the nation's gonna drink it I'm talking to cup, don't care what you thinking Believe in the gospel, the God is stinking The fires of heaven gonna gather for dinner To eat up the flesh, the wicked, the sinner Your mama, your sister, your daddy, your cousin If they is, if they mind, they don't repent they Matthew 19, 16. Yeah, I did. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? Hey, brother in the uh, Lincoln, in that nice Lincoln over there. Hey, a man came to Christ and asked him, What good thing should I do to get rulership? Don't you want rulership, bro? Don't you want dominion on this earth? Ain't you tired of being harassed by the police? Being looked at as a criminal everywhere you go? Huh? Who that is? That's all. Uh, what's your name, bro? Huh? Come on real quick. You look familiar. There you go. Okay, I don't know. Uh, bro, how you doing there, brother? I uh, pray. You looking familiar from a distance. You know, I'm like, man, you look familiar. I uh, pray to the Moses. How you doing today? I uh, pray. Man, we out here showing our people who we are according to the Bible, that we the Israelites according to the Bible. You know what I'm saying? That we the greatest people on the face of this earth. Give me Deuteronomy 76. Yep. On this sign right here. According to your father, would your father be a so-called black man? What you mean? Talking about my father? Yeah, your father. Your father. Black man. He'll be a black man. So you'll be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. You get what I'm saying? I know a lot of times most people call us what? Port um, niggas, super predators, they've been calling us that for years. But God said, look here, you are, you are, you're a child of God, you're an Israelite. Right. You get what I'm saying? So no more saying my nigga, say my Jew. Ain't that what we say anyway in Jackson? Jew, hey, what up? I'm from Louisiana. Oh, praise. So hey, look here, that just, I, same oppression. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We went through the same. Did you know in, in Louisiana, they had the highest incarceration rate amongst black men. Yeah. It's more people locked up, it's more black folk locked up in Louisiana than in the whole world. It's real rough for us out there. They still got chain gangs in Louisiana. They still got, um, don't they still do the boxing in the prison and stuff like that? Out, still huh? craziness going on out there. Give me that. You got that, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art a holy people. You see that? God said that you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites, are holy people, read. Unto the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. See that? So out of everybody, 
God said, look here, you above everybody on the face of this earth. So if that being said, how long you been in Jackson? Uh, going on probably about three, about three, four months now. About three, where you, where you from in Louisiana? Uh, Rusty. From Rusty. Oh, okay, yeah. so you over there all 20. Yeah, by Gramlin. Yeah, I'll pray. So uh, since you've been in Jackson, what all have you seen in Jackson? Every day it been different murders, different, all, give me Hosea 4 one It been a whole bunch of crime and a whole bunch of criminal activity going on amongst our people. Read. The book of Hosea chapter four, verse one. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. You see that? God said there ain't no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land because even in, uh, out there in Louisiana, when you go to the churches, what image in those churches? Yeah. It look like this, don't it? They have, they have images of white people in there. So if everywhere I go and every building I go, we always uplift this man, what that do to us? What do that do to a people that don't have an image? That causes you, you, you ain't gonna never look at them in a high regard. So when I, when I got a problem with my brother, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pull out the hammer and I'm gonna go ahead and lay you down. Because, but if I had this, if we had this image in the land and, I, and, and we knew that the highest and most important man on the face of this earth was a black man, if I stepped on your shoe, we'll be able to reason with each other. Because you ain't looking at me as no as a nigga the way the other nations look at me. Right. You'll be like, bro, it's all good. I get some more. That's right. what you will say. But because this image right here is in all the places that we always demeaned as a people, guess what? We all we don't never show mercy towards one another. Right. That's why God said, look, I got a controversy with you guys because you have no knowledge, nor mercy, nor truth amongst you. Right. Read that. Verse 2. By swearing, By swearing and lying, lying and killing. And it's a lot of killing going on in Jackson. I just got finished saying that 55 murders since January in Jackson, Mississippi. Yep. Who you think it was? You think it was 55 white folk that died? How about 55 Chinese folk died? It's 55 Israelites that right. died, right. That, that got laid down by other Israelites. Right. So if you really think about it, it ain't really just 55 people that died. It's right. really like over 100. Because, think about it, for all the people that killed, somebody had to go to jail. So them fathers that's in the prison system right now, and you got fathers that's in the ground right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got mothers that's in the ground, mothers that's in prison. So right. just as many people that get killed, you got other people that's going to jail. Right. So that's a double whammy for the enemy right there. Right. That's a double whammy for the people that don't like us. Right. You get what I'm saying? They get rid of us twofold. Right. You get what I'm saying? Read that again. Verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. You children of Israel. He didn't say the whole word. This Bible is only for the Israelites. That's, right. That's it. It ain't for nobody else. Read. It's only for you. Read. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. You see that? So God said he got a controversy, a problem with the inhabitants of the land, the Israelites. Read that. Because there is no truth. There is no truth. No mercy. No knowledge of God in the land. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing. There would be a lot of theft going on in Jackson, Mississippi. I know out there in Rustin it be. You get what I'm saying? It's a lot of crime that go on amongst our people, right? Because when you put a whole bunch of people in an area and you strip them of all resources, what would they end up doing? They gonna end up stealing. They go in what we call survival mode. Right. You get what I'm saying? If you hungry enough, you gonna go in there and get, steal some food. If you need money to feed your family and nobody won't give you a job, you gonna, you gonna end up robbing somebody. Right. Poverty equals crime. The right. white man know that. Right. You get what I'm saying? He understand that. That's why he do the things he do. Right. Why you think in every black community is no resources in it? Right. You get what I'm saying? There's no resource, but as soon as you go up there to Ridgeland, they got a mall, they got two malls. You know what I'm saying? Everything bricked out, the road look good. It ain't no look of poverty in Ridgeland. But as soon as you cross over and come into Hines County into Jackson, poverty is everywhere. That's right. Poverty, ain't no malls, ain't no um, plants, no jobs, nothing. Right. So everything we do, guess what we gotta do? We gotta go outside our community again. Right. You get what I'm saying? What do they do to a people, bro? That's depression. I gotta leave my family 30 miles away to try to go make a living. But the other nation, they can they can do it in their own community. Right. That's a problem right there. That's that's a fix. Give me uh Psalm 64 and 4. 
Psalm 64 and 4, I just want you to understand something real quick. This man don't play, he don't play no game. He always had tricks up his sleeve to keep us down. That's right. Am I right, bro? He always had tricks up his sleeve to keep us down. Yeah. This ain't nothing new. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 64, verse 4, uh -huh. that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. So they shoot at secret at the perfect. We are the perfect. We are the ones that supposed to be keeping these laws. So they say they're going to shoot at secret at the perfect. You ain't going to know who, who doing it. You get what I'm saying? You're going to be looking around, man. Why, why is poverty so prevalent amongst our community? Who doing this? You get what I'm saying? Read that. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. So, and they shoot at us and they fear not. You get what I'm saying? When the police come up on you and they harassing us, they ain't got no fear in their heart thinking, okay, I'm going to pull off on them a little bit. Yep. They'll shoot you with the, and they'll cut the camera on and gun you down. Am I right or am I wrong? Right. They'll, they'll turn the camera on and gun you down and say, look here, it ain't what, it, what you see, you ain't seen it. You ain't seen it. He really pulled a gun on me. How do you all know how to get everlasting life? Oh, uh, praise it. Give me that. Matthew 19, 16. All right, that's a good question. Everlasting life is equivalent to rulership. You get what right. I'm saying? That's what you really ask for. Go ahead. Oh, no, I'm I'll pray. Give me that. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. Uh -huh. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? That's the same thing you just asked. So over 2,000 years ago, another black man asked the black messiah the same question. That's right. So read that. And he said unto him, What colors thou me good? There's nothing good but one. There's nothing good but one. The black Messiah always gave the most high God the accolade. That's right. That's how you know that Trinity doctrine that they teach in Christian in the Christian church is a lie. Right. You know, he always gave props to the Father. Read. That is God. But if thou will enter into life, but if thou will have rulership, keep the commandment. Keep the commandment. That's, right. That's the only thing we gotta do. We gotta start to keep God's laws again. That's right. You get what I'm saying? Give me Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Bring Give me Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. That's, that's the problem with our, in our community right now. Right. We don't keep the laws no more. Right. Read that. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Uh -huh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Uh -huh. Fear God uh -huh. and keep his commandments. Uh -huh. you see that? Fear God and keep his commandments. That's how we get out of this out of this hell hole we in right now. Right. We behind enemy lines right now. Right. You get what I'm saying? Ain't no ain't no hope for us over here. See, Every so time I'm... you come around, what you gotta have on you when you ride through our through our neighborhood? Right. You gotta have a gun on you. Right. Why should I have to have a gun? You feel more safer in the other nation neighborhood than you do in your own community. Right. Ain't that something? The reason for that is because we don't have no mercy toward one another. Right. And there ain't no knowledge of God in the land. Right. That's one of the problems. And every, like I just told him, in every neighborhood, in every church house, this man right here is right there. Am I right or am I wrong? That's the problem right there. Now let me ask you this. Is, is, is the black, is, the, is the Jesus Christ, is he a so-called black man or a so-called white man? I'm like this, man. Go ahead. I'm kind of like this to the point that, because I got all type of friends. So I got right. Asian friends, I got Caucasian friends, black friends. All of them. Okay. I, I'm the type that I use it with all people. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like Give me in all history, the history, I, I know in black history, we all had, we all, you know, in history, we I, had I heard struggle. you say, I heard you say something, bro. Like, and you yeah. say you unify with all people. Does Christ tell us to unify with all people? Or do you believe in the Bible? Do we unify with all people? Yes, does Christ say that? He said that? He said love everybody? Okay, I'm going to read you a scripture now, and I want you to tell me what it means, okay? Because you said God basically loves everybody, right? Romans 9, 13. Because I'm going to show you something, brother, because a lot of times we, we don't even actually understand what the Bible is saying. Or we don't read the Bible for ourselves. We just go off of what this image here told us. It told us a lot. I, I understand, but you need to understand that with this come another doctrine. It says God loves everybody. Let's read the Bible. Read that. The book of Romans chapter 9 verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have a love. Jacob's name got changed to Israel. Right. So it's talking about the 12 tribes of Israel. Read. But Esau have I hated. What does that mean? Read out. Give me uh, Psalm 5 and 5. Say Esau I hated. So how could God love everybody right here in this Bible 
You understand this man? It said that he hates somebody. You understand that? So how can God love everybody? Well, I always, I always recognize that's, that that's, he loves everybody. That's the what we was taught, right? If, if you think about it, just hear my point of view. I'm listening to you. Yes, sir. I feel like if he didn't love everybody, why would he put breath in all this shit? Understand that. I understand. Like listen, listen. Do you love mosquitoes? No. Nah, I ain't gonna say I love them. You, you understand what I'm saying? You, you got it. You got it. All right. Do, do you like roaches? You understand what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. They are a purpose for them. But we don't necessarily have to like them. We can say, man, I hate these roaches. You understand? But it's a purpose for them. So God created all this stuff even though... Read that again. Read that again. Romans 9. Romans 9. I want to show you something, bro. I, I really want you to get this. Because God is an almighty God. And, and I'm going to show you about this enemy, too. Read that. The book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. God said he hate Esau. You know who Esau is, right? You don't know who Esau is? Give me Genesis 25, 25. I'm going to show you who Esau is. Read that. The book, the book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 25. And the first came out. Red, all over. Start at verse 21. Verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. So she couldn't have no kids. So this brother Isaac, he wanted his wife to have kids. So he went to the Lord. Hey, Lord, let us have some kids. Read. And the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. So his wife, Rebecca, she got pregnant. She conceived. He shot off at her. She got pregnant. Read. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? So the children was fighting inside of her. She had two kids inside of her. They was fighting inside of her. She said, well, if this is a blessing, why am I why am I hurting like this? Read. And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. So the Lord said, Two nations are inside of you. Not, not literally thousands of people, but the beginning of two nations is inside of you. Read. And two manner of people. Two manner of people. What does that mean? Two different types of people. They're going to look at things totally different. Read. Shall be separated from thy bowels. No, they're going to be together. Shall be separated from thy bowels. So they're going to be separated. These going to be two separate people. They ain't going to get along. Read. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. So one particular people going to be stronger than the other ones. Who the strongest people on the face of the earth? Who? Who the strongest people on the face of the earth? I, I'll put it to you like this. Who the best basketball player? Who the, who the best lawyers? Who the best singers? Who go through slavery and still stand up and come out of that thing and still provide for their family? Who is that? So it said one people going to be stronger than the other. Well, if African American is the strong, who is the weak one? He'll come out here in this sun and get skin cancer. Who? Bring it up. Don't be scared to say it. Caucasian. So we we on a roll. We starting to understand. Read. And the elder shall serve the younger. And when she and when her and when she was to be delivered, were fulfilled. When her days to be delivered were fulfilled. Behold, there were twins in her womb. So she got twins. These not identical twins because it said they're gonna be two men of people, right? So these are what kind of twins? Fraternal, fraternal twins, read. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. It said the first one of these boys come out, they come out what? Read again. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. It said the first twin came out what color? They didn't say the colors. Hold on, hold on, read it again. And the first came out red. What color? Red. All over, like a hairy garment. So the first came out what color? Red. When the first came out? When the white folks stay in the sun, what color they get? Red. <laughs> so they're not really white. Right. They red. The first came out red. Out what? Red. All over, like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. Remember that name? They called his name what? Esau. Esau. And, and after that came his brother out. And his hand took hold on Esau's heel. Why didn't they say nothing about his other brother's color? Why didn't they say nothing about his color? They said Esau came out red, but the other brother, they didn't say nothing. They just said his name. His name was Jacob. 
Let's go back. What's that word I want y'all to remember? Esau. Esau. Go back to Romans 9, 13. Let me show you this. I'm going to show you something. Because we went back to Genesis to show you the beginning of nations. The first came out red. That's Esau. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Who God hate? Esau. Who is Esau? White parquet. What? White. The white man. Right. God said he hate him, brother. That know? ain't me. That's what this Bible is saying. You know. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 real fast. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. And I know you said earlier that I get along with everybody. You, if, if Trayvon Martin could come back and talk to you, what would he say about that? What, 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 what do you say? What do you say? He would say them hunkies killed me. What about, what about the, um, George Floyd? What would he say? Did you see that man dealing on that man's neck? Listen, bro. These people had us in slavery, man. You think them people love us? You think they care if they love if you love them or not? Who the last hired in the first fire? Hey, so. First, first part eight. You understand? You see how we was on those slave ships, packed in there. So if a woman had a baby, what happened to that? What happened to all the juices out of that baby? What happened to it? What happened to all them juices? If they stacked on top of each other, what happened to them? When that woman had that baby, I had a period. All that fell off on you. You understand that? What if you had to take a dump? What if you had to take a leap? Y'all understand? These people do not care about us. We have to be focused on us, though. Go back to Deuteronomy 28, 68. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. How do we get to this side of the world? On slave ships. Cargo slave ship. The Bible said he was going to bring us into Egypt again. Egypt is another word that means slavery. He was going to bring us to slavery again with what? With ships. God is talking to the Israelites right here. He said he's going to take them into slavery on slave ships. If he told them that and we came over here on slave ships, what does that make us? Who are we? He's talking to the Israelites, right? That's right. And the same thing happened to the Israelites happened to us. Who are we then? We are the the Israelites. That's exactly right, brother. That's all we're trying to tell you. We the Israelites. We 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 are. Uh, we supposed to be keeping God's commandments. Give me Revelation 9, uh, 13, 9. Revelation. 13. Let's see what Jesus said. Y'all know about Jesus, right? Now, which one of these Jesus? Which one? Cause this is what they have in church. Every church I've ever been to, every movie I ever seen, they got this guy here, or somebody that looks like this guy, right. playing the part. Who is this guy? That ain't what the Bible says about him. We're going to read it though. Revelation 13. No. 9. The book of Revelation chapter 13 verse 9. If, if, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that lead him into captivity. Who led us into captivity? Who led the so-called black man, Native American man, Native Indian man? Who led us into captivity? Who brought us into slavery? The Caucasian, right? Read that again. He that led us into captivity. So if you led us into captivity, read. Shall go into captivity. What's going to happen to them? They going into captivity. Give me Revelation 1 14. Let me show you what Jesus looked like real fast. Let me show you what Jesus looked like. I need y'all to understand. Read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. So the Bible said Christ had woolly hair. Like this brother Bear, he got a little gray growing in there, you know. When you get a little older, a little wisdom on you, start to get gray hairs on you. Right. Now, we call them gray, but what color are they? They turn white. You understand that? So Christ's hair was white, like wool. Who got woolly hair today? Who? Blacks got woolly hair. You understand that, right? Do you see uh, so-called white people with woolly hair? Because they're not really white. They're red. Do they have woolly hair? No, they got what kind of hair? Dog hair, stringy hair. Y'all understand that, right? You ever see one woolly hair? So who got woolly hair? Us. We got woolly hair. Read. Right. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So Jesus' eyes was a flame of fire, meaning they were red. The whites of his eyes had turned red. What happened to a brother if he drank wine? His eyes turned what? What was Jesus' first miracle? He turned water into what? Into wine. So Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, drunk wine in moderation. Right. So his eyes was red. Read that. Verse 15. 
and his feet like a divine brass. He said his feet. So John looking at his feet, he said his feet look like fine brass. What color is brass? Brown. So his feet look like brass. And if his feet look like brass, what the rest of his body look like? Same color. It said it look like brass and what? As if they burned in a furnace. It said look like they burned in a furnace. You know, you barbecue sometimes, right? You barbecue? Sometimes, you know, I know you be barbecuing, you go inside and drink a beer or whatever you're doing, and you forget the meat on there. When you come back, what color that meat is? Black. That meat black. So, so read that last part again. As if they burned in a furnace. So what color Christ? What color Christ, bro? Black. So this is a better depiction than what this is. This is a lie. Let me start Corinthians uh, 10 and 4, I think. What's your name, brother? You know, you know your nationality, bro? You know what color Christ is? We just read it. He a black man. He look like that. He ain't look like this. That's a lie. Straight from the pits of hell. That's a lie. Read that. Yeah, read that. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. You gone, big man? You got to go? All right. You out? Right, right, right. So what's your nationality? I just have faith in a man. What what do we who who let me show you something before you leave. Let me show you something. Revelation 21 12. Let me show you this. Let me show you this, because you want to get to heaven, right? Guess who we're gonna we're gonna show you what heaven looks like and who can get in there. Read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 12. And had a wall, great and high. This is talking about the kingdom of heaven, it's got a wall, it's great and high. Big old wall. That's the kingdom of heaven. Read. And had twelve gates. So the kingdom of heaven got 12 gates. What's the wall and gates meant for? If you live in a gated community, what does that mean? Bring it out. You're going to keep some other folks out of there. The people that ain't supposed to be in there, they can't come in. Now, you done been to a club before, right? All right, they got this big old dude outside with, with a rope out there. What does he mean? What does he call? He security or a bouncer. Read. And at the gate. 12 angels. So they got 12 gates. 12 angels. Guess what them angels out there doing? Read. And names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So the gates got names written on them. 12 tribes of Israel. So who can get in them gates? Bring it out. Say, go ahead. I, I didn't say it. Hold on, wait a minute. Who are God's church? Who are his people? Let's go to Matthew 2 and 16. Because we just read the gates got 12, 12 angels at the gates. And it's names written on the gates. You got that? So the names written on the gates are who? The 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 6. And thou Bethlehem, and the land of Judah, are not, are not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people. My God's people, right? Israel. Who God's people? That's it, bro. That's the only way. You, you, you're not coming in as a Baptist. You're not coming in any other way but as an Israelite. Right. You must return back to who you are. You're an Israelite, brother. You need to be proud of that thing. You're not black. You're not African-American. You are an Israelite. Right. And when you find that out, you've got to start to live like an Israelite. Right. I hope you understand that, brother. So what's your nationality? Israelite. Say that again, bro. That's right. You're an Israelite. All right. I'll pray to the most high, brother. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.